Which is better, acts of kindness or giving to charity? There are several ways to look at that question, but today I want to share a traditional Jewish answer with you. Shalom, my friends. Yes, one can look at my question from many perspectives, including that giving to charity is, in and of itself, an act of kindness. But the Jewish holy work called the Talmud offers a perspective on this question that I think is worth sharing with you today. So what is the Talmud's answer? It is that acts of kindness are actually superior to charitable giving in three different ways. Number one, to give charity, you have to have some money to give. Not so with acts of kindness. They can be accomplished by personal involvement as well as with money. You can be the poorest person on God's green earth and still be able to help another person with an act of kindness. The second way that acts of kindness are superior to charity is the inverse of the first. Just as one needs money to give to charity, one must be in financial difficulties to benefit from a charitable gift. In other words, charitable gifts benefit those in need of money, but an act of kindness can be done for the benefit of the wealthy as well as for the benefit of the poor. And that brings us to our final point, which is the one I personally find the most interesting. Charitable giving can only benefit the living. Certainly you can make a donation in the name of someone who has passed away or do so in his or her memory, but the person who died does not directly benefit when you make a donation. On the other hand, when a person dies, there are many things that person still needs. There is arranging the funeral, preparing the body for burial, eulogizing the person who died, and the very physical acts of accompanying the body to the burial site and actually burying the body. I could sum it up as follows. Charity can be given only to the living, but acts of kindness can be done for both the living and the dead. So let me conclude with this. My purpose today is not to denigrate charitable giving, that's for sure. But I do want to point out that there are circumstances in which acts of kindness can accomplish things that charity cannot. It's not an argument against charity. It's a suggestion to include acts of kindness in your, quote unquote, make the world better toolkit. Before I go into my closing reminders, I'd like to take a moment to say thank you to all who subscribe to this channel. We began with zero subscribers. We've grown to almost 740. Thank you to all of you who have subscribed to the channel. An extra helping of thanks goes to those who have become patrons of the channel at patreon.com. If that is of interest to you, please click on the link in the description box below the video. Finally, if you have not already subscribed, please help us hit our next milestones of 750, 800, even 1,000 subscribers. All you have to do to subscribe is click on my face right over here and ring that bell so that you're notified every time we release a new video, or watch our last video by clicking on its icon right over there. 
as ever. Until next time, Shabbat Shalom.